The 52 homes in the community are heated by a district heating system designed to store abundant solar energy underground during the summer months and distribute the energy to each home for space heating needs during winter months. The system is unprecedented in the world, fulfilling 90% of each home's space heating requirements from solar energy and resulting in less dependence on limited fossil fuels. Space heating consumes the largest amount of energy in Canada's residential sector. Most extraordinary about homes in the Drake Landing solar community is that 90% of space heating needs are met with solar energy. This is achieved through an innovative solar district heating system that connects to each home. All homes are equipped with a specialized air handler unit, replacing the need for conventional furnace. The air handler consists of a fan coil, forced air duct work, and a heat recovery ventilator. To increase the temperature in a home, the homeowner uses a common thermostat. Raising the temperature on the thermostat opens a valve that allows hot water to flow from the district heating loop through the coil. The fan blows air across the hot coil, heating the air and distributing it throughout the home in high-volume, low-velocity ductwork. The heat recovery ventilator exhausts warm, moist, stale air from within the home to the outside and preheats cool, fresh incoming air. This system ensures fresh air inside the home and requires less energy to provide space heating as compared to a conventional furnace. An array of 800 solar panels located on garage roofs throughout the community generate 1.5 megawatts of thermal power during a typical summer day and supply heat to the district heating system. From sunrise to sunset, the solar panels absorb the sun's energy and heat a glycol solution running through an insulated piping system that connects the array of collectors. The heated glycol travels along the roof overhang down the end of the garage and underground through a shallow buried trench system until it arrives at a heat exchanger within the community's energy center. Here, the heated glycol passes through the heat exchanger, transferring heat to the water stored in a short-term storage tank. The glycol solution carries on through its loop back to the solar collector system. From the short-term storage tank, the heated water is distributed to the borehole thermal energy storage system consisting of 144 holes that stretch 37 meters below the ground and cover an area 35 meters in diameter. The borehole system is where the summer's heat is stored for use in the wintertime. As the heated water travels through the pipework, heat is transferred to the surrounding earth. The temperature of the earth will reach 80 degrees Celsius by the end of each summer. To improve the insulation properties of the earth and keep the heat in, the borehole system is covered with sand high-density R40 insulation, a waterproof membrane, clay, and other landscaping materials. The water completes its circuit of the borehole system and returns to the short-term storage tanks in the energy center to be heated again and repeat the same process. When winter arrives and heat is needed for the community, the heat in the borehole system is distributed by water back to the energy center and then through the district heating loop to each home. A community built with integrity innovation and vision. Drake Landing Solar Community reinvents what a traditional community can be by embracing contemporary thinking and progressive environmental initiatives. We depend on the natural resources that nature provides for us. Clean air, water and energy sources. Choosing a greener future ensures that there'll be resources left for future generations.